Let's get some other news today. And in early 2019, the Argentinian footballer Emiliano Sala was looking forward to life as a Premier League footballer with Cardiff City before he was unexpectedly and tragically killed in a plane crash as he was travelling by plane from Nantes to the Welsh capital. The pilot, David Ibbotson, also died when the aircraft plunged into the channel. A new audio given to the BBC, the concerns that the footballer had before boarding can be heard firsthand. Kayleigh Thomas has this exclusive report. This is the last time Emiliano Sala and David Ibbotson were seen alive. For the first time, we can show you CCTV footage from January the 21st, 2019, as the footballer and pilot go through airport security. These were final checks before the striker flew from Nantes to Wales to become a Premier League player at Cardiff City. Earlier, David Ibbotson is seen on the runway, preparing the plane ahead of the flight. Everything was going to plan, and he sent this video to a pilot friend. But in a phone call to the same friend, the recording of which has been obtained by the BBC, David Ibbotson raised concerns about the plane. I picked a football up from uh, Cardiff. Uh, it should have been brought from Nantes. I think it's about 20 million pounds worth of something. They've entrusted me to uh, pick him up in a dodgy marriage. Normally I have the life jacket sitting between my seats, but tomorrow we're wearing the life jacket, that's for sure. This aircraft, I think it's got to go back in the hangar. Might be your last chance to have a good old chat with me and a good old boat with me tomorrow. <laughs> Normally I have the life jacket sitting between seats. Quite a bombshell of a tape to actually hear it in David Ibbotson's own words and to hear that he was concerned about the flight 24 hours earlier. Uh, I'd consider that absolutely explosive, frankly. I mean, a pilot has ultimate responsibility for the safety of the individual flight. And I think David Ibbotson, knowing what he knew, could easily have decided that the flight wasn't safe. David Ibbotson should never have taken the job to fly Emiliano Sala as he wasn't a commercial pilot and couldn't legally fly at night. His concerns about the plane were echoed by his passenger. Emiliano often came to this small house on the outskirts of Nantes to see his friend and mentor, Marie Jeanne. He described the plane as a cuckoo to her, French slang for a rickety old plane. He said, I'm going to with a cuckoo. He said, it's a little bizarre. He didn't tell me much more. Parce qu'il était, il courait partout avec les copains, les machins, tout ce qu'il avait à faire avant de. Et je lui dis, voilà, je lui ai dit textuellement, mais Amy, bah, euh, si tu trouves que cet avion, exactement, je lui dis ça, euh, si tu trouves que cet avion, euh, il n'est pas, il te correspond pas, bah, tu reprends pas le même. Emiliano sent this last voice message to his friends from inside the plane. Estoy acá arriba del avión que parece que se está poca de a pedazo y me estoy yendo para acá, y loco que no sé si van a mandar a alguien a buscarme porque no me van a encontrar, pero ya lo saben. Papá, qué miedo que tengo. The aircraft starts taxiing towards runway 3. It's scheduled to land in Cardiff just two hours later. It never arrived. The depths of the English Channel, the plane's final resting place. For the first time, we can show you moving pictures of the wreckage in a tragedy that touched a number of lives. Por ahí lo puedes eh, sentir un poco menos con el paso del tiempo, pero es algo que no, eh, en particular, pienso que no se te va nunca, eh, porque es un, es, o sea. Una parte, cuando, cuando pasó todo esto, una parte se fue con él y esa parte no vuelve más. As investigations and court proceedings continue, and as two families mourn the loss of loved ones, we now have more insight into what happened in the hours before that fateful flight. Kaylee Thomas, BBC News, in Cardiff.